In 2021, U.S. firearm deaths increased by 15 percent of more than 48,000, with more than half by suicide. With meaningful gun legislation at a standstill now for decades, one company in Colorado says that updating a gun's technology could be the solution to decreasing accidental deaths and suicide. So how does it work, and is there such a thing as a smart gun? Here's ABC's Mola Lange with tonight's Prime Focus. Guns have been used, abused, beloved, up to my little friend. and detested for hundreds of years. In that time, guns have evolved, becoming more advanced, in some instances safer, in others, deadlier. Still, today's handgun functions largely the same way as the first automatic handgun that rolled out in 1892. But a company near Boulder, Colorado, thinks guns should be smarter than they were 100 years ago using today's technology. You feel like you've ended up with a safe gun? Absolutely, yes. We did a lot of research into where we placed the sensor, where's the camera pointed, just so that they don't have to think about it. They just pick it up, their finger goes right to the sensor. There's no extra steps, no buttons, no codes, nothing else that they have to do. BioFire's smart guns are personalized guns using biometric technology, fingerprint. That's the fingerprint sensor. And facial recognition, similar to your smartphone, preventing just anyone from using it except the gun's registered owner or those authorized by the owner. Why are we to think that this is not a hackable technology? The key thing that BioFire has done to ensure that our product cannot be hacked is it has no wireless communications of any kind. All of the biometric data, all of the processing, all the decisions about who's able to use that firearm happen within a secure process inside of the gun. BioFire has no ability to access any of that information, and the only person who can ever change the settings or add a new user is the owner. While other companies are working to produce similar firearms, skeptics have long questioned if smart gun technology can work consistently and effectively, especially during a life or death encounter when every second counts. We asked our ABC News military analyst, Mick Mulroy, a firearms expert, to test the weapon. First impressions after firing the, the smart gun? I thought it worked really well, and I can see the application when it comes to both safety and still having the ability to put the gun in operation quickly. BioFire founder Kai Klepfer began thinking about gun safety in high school after the Aurora movie theater shooting in 2012 near his hometown. When I think about like what are the challenges that America faces around guns, it really comes down to the 40-ish thousand people who are dying every single year from firearms. And so I think BioFire has a reasonably unique ability to address certain portions of that public health challenge. According to the CDC, overall U.S. firearm deaths jumped 15% in 2021 to around 48,000, with suicides accounting for nearly 26,000 of those. BioFire says their smart guns are taking aim at reducing those suicides, as well as many gun accidents, especially those involving children. Klepfer says the benefit of a smart gun is that if it's lost, stolen, or just ends up in the wrong hands, it's essentially useless. Not once have I ever talked to a gun owner who wanted their kid to find their gun. And so if we can provide a better option as a choice right, uh, to the market, I think we're going to see a lot of success both from a company perspective and also really be able to have an impact on starting to chip away, especially at children and teenagers who are dying from guns. We're talking about a gun that only the owner can unlock. But BioFire says their target market is home security. So the company introduced us to Jared and Chantel Guzman, parents of four, who told us they plan to have a smart gun not only for home defense, but peace of mind. If you are a responsible gun owner, you either have to own a safe lock or a smart gun. Because if you own guns, you are now responsible for every person that comes into your home. And you know, having a couple teenagers too, we have people in our home all the time. Of course, there is a proven market for guns, but some question whether there's a demand for smart guns. And many gun owners are concerned these smart guns will usher in stricter government regulation. We're certainly not advocating for greater restrictions on firearms, but at the same time, we're not advocating for greater freedoms around firearms. Instead, BioFire insists smart guns are just another option for gun buyers. They hope a safer option. Our thanks to Mola for that could be transformative. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.